Hello everyone, thank you for being here for my presentation about James Bond, bimanual haptic illusion of physically connected objects for immersive VR using grip deformation. This is Nun Liu from KAIST, and this work has been a collaboration with my great colleagues, Heyoung Zhou from KAIST, Michel Pod, and Mike Sinclair from Microsoft Research, and advised by Professor Andrea Bianchi from KAIST. Before I start, I also want to express great thanks to the ACs and reviewers who helped shape and improve this work. Thank you. GameSpawn is basically a pair of VR controllers that can generate the haptic illusion of a physical connection between two grips by bending, twisting, and stretching in the user's hand. In this video clip, you can see me playing with a stretch blue bar. If you look carefully, you can notice that the GameSpawn controllers deform in my hands and match the virtual interacting object. And it makes me feel like holding a single object with both hands. Expanding on this simple application, here are some practical examples of everyday interactions. For example, you can feel the dynamic feedback of a jump, jump rope. And you can not only feel the connection by yourself, but also feel connected with other people. GameSpawn also has potential to render force illusion. For example, it can simulate the compliance of the rigid bar and also it's breaking by removing the virtual connection. Or it can render the illusion of a moving weight between two hands. The two controllers can also provide asymmetric functionalities. While one controller renders the sensation of reeling, the other controller simulates the pulling force of the fish. Lastly, with GameSpawn, you can feel any type of grip that is held in both hands. It can change the configuration from separate grips, one object that has parallel grip, or a line grip, or any other grip variation without any constraints and delay. Now here's the explanation of how it works. To achieve these illusions of connection, the system first measures the position and orientation of each hand then calculates the virtual object properties according to the hand positions. Then move the upper segments of each controller to align with the calculate points on the, on the object. Through this synchronized grip deformation, user can feel the connection. There are five servos in each controller. A rack connected to the stretching servo moves the upper segment up and down, and twisting servo rotates the upper segment directly. In case of bending, there are three servos inside the lower segment, and tendons connected to them bend the upper segment in the desired amount and direction. These mechanical structure enables the controller to bend up to 30 degrees in all 360 degrees of direction, twist from minus 70 degrees to 70 degrees, and stretch 9mm, compress 2.5mm. For more detail, please refer to the paper. We developed three example bonds to e evaluate the games bond for various type of connections. The rigid bond is virtually connection, a virtual connection without any deformation, like rod made of steel. The soft bond is flexible connection without any dynamic response, such as gooseneck arm. The dynamic bond is another flexible connection but has dynamic response such as inertia, hence it behaves like a rock. To measure the influence of haptic feedback for VR experience, we conducted two by three factorial design experiments with 12 participants, comparing with and without haptic condition for all three bonds. Overall, haptic feedback increased all ratings of realism, immersion, and enjoyment for all bonds. Also, soft bond generally showed significantly higher scores than rigid bond, implying that game spawn device works the best when it renders flexible objects. You can find more findings and qualitative feedbacks from the participants in our paper. So, this is the end of my talk. Thank you for your attention and I am looking forward to see you in the Q&A. Thank you.